Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter one, lesson six. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So first we need to estimate, uh, we're rounding to the nearest thousandth on this one. So 1300 is gonna round to 1000. And then we're gonna keep the six. So our estimate would be about 6,000. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do the actual math. So six times four is 24, I'm gonna carry my two. Six times seven is 42, plus two is 44. I'm gonna carry my four. Six times three is 18, plus four is 22. I'm gonna carry my two. Six times one is six, plus two is eight. That is your final answer. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing for number three. So 726 is gonna to round to about 1,000, and we're gonna keep our five. So our estimate is going to be 5, thousand. Okay? You can, if you choose, round this to 500 instead. It will do the same thing. Not a problem. Okay. It's an estimate, so no answer is going to be perfect. Okay. Now we're going to do the real math. So 5 times 6 is 30. Carry our 3. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 3 is 13. Carry my 1. 5 times 7 is 35 plus 1 is 36. There is your answer. Okay, you guys go ahead and do four through six. We're gonna go down and do number seven. So number seven would be, estimate would be four times 1,000. That would be about 4,000. Then if I did the real math, I'm gonna line up 979 times four and four times nine is 36. I'm gonna carry my three. Four times seven is 28, plus three is 31. I'm gonna carry my three again. And then four times nine is 36 again, plus three is 39. There's our actual math. Okay, you guys can go ahead and do those again, um, all the way through number 14. Okay. Remember, rounding is, is just, it's just an estimate, so don't panic over it. There's no perfect answer there. Okay. Mr. and Mrs. Dorsey and their three children are flying to Springfield. The cost of each ticket is $179. Estimate how much the tickets will cost. Well, there's Mr. and Mrs. Dorsey and their three children, so that's five. That's five people. Then $179 is approximately $200 each. Okay, five times two is 10, and then I'm gonna add on my two zeros. So it will be approximately $1,000. Okay, now we're gonna do the exact cost of that. Okay, so we're going to do 179 times five. Five times nine is 45. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 4 is 39. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3, 8. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. So, the actual cost is $895. Okay. Mrs. Tao flies round trip twice yearly between Jacksonville and Los Angeles on business. The distance between the two cities is 2,150 miles. Estimate the distance she flies for both trips. Find the exact distance afterwards. So, twice yearly, okay? So, we need to do, if we rounded this number, it would be to about 2,000. And she does it twice yearly. Well, two times two is four, and then I have one, two, three zeros. So estimates about 4,000. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the real math, okay? So <clears throat> two times zero is zero, not two like I almost wrote. Two times five is 10, I'm gonna carry that one. Two times one is two, plus one is three, and two times two is four. So actual, is 
not a dollar sign, sorry guys, 4,300 miles. Okay. All right, guys, let's go over onto the back. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, guys. I actually... Okay, so she makes the trip there and back twice a year, so I'm actually going to add another 4,300 because I did one trip there and back. I didn't do the second trip, so I'm just going to add that extra trip in, okay? So, zero, zero, six, and eight. So, 8,600 miles. Sorry about that. Okay, we're going to go over onto the back where you're going to do the lesson check, just like always. And then we're going to go down and do the spiral review. It says, Una missed five points out of 100 points on her math test. What decimal represents the part of her math test that she answered correctly? Okay, well, the cool thing is, is that 100 points means 100%. Okay, so if I were to take those five points off, she would still have 95 points. Okay, this translates directly to percent. So 95%. Okay, now 95% as a decimal. Okay, so from a decimal, we move that decimal two times to the left. That is 0.95. Okay. All right. Which symbol of the statement is true? So I'm going to take this number and I'm going to write it underneath this number so that we can compare them. So 6, 2, 0, 1, 6, 3. So we can see our sixes are the same. The two, though, is bigger than the zero, which means that. So, that. Okay. So, we're going to go to number five. Number five says the number below represents the number of fans that attended a Chicago Cubs baseball game in 2008. What is the number written in standard form? So, in our millionth place, we have a three. Okay. We don't have anything in the, or sorry, we have another three in the hundred thousands place, but in the ten thousands and the one thousands, we don't have anything. So we're going to fill those in with zeros. Okay. Then come our hundreds. Okay. So I have a two in my hundred spot, but I don't have anything in my tens or my ones. Those are zeros again. Okay. So we're going to label that with fans. 3 million, 300,000, and 200 fans. Okay? All right. A fair was attended by 755,082 people altogether. What is this number rounded to the nearest 10,000? So I'm going to rewrite the number down here. Okay? 10 thousandths would be right here. Okay? So... I need to look at the number that's right next door to tell me if that number needs to go up or stay the same. Remember, if it's five or bigger, it goes up. If it is four or less, it goes down, or it stays the same, rather. So it is a five. Well, five and bigger, it goes up. So now I'm going to keep my seven, but my five is going to go to a six. Now, every number after that is going to become a zero. So I have one, two, three, four numbers. One, two, three, four zeros. There is my comma. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 1.6. Come on back for 1.7. See you soon.